Counseling Micro Skills, Checking Perceptions, with Sandra Collins and Gina Ko. Gina, we were talking a few minutes ago about the um, the positive feelings and the building of confidence that's come over time for you. Um, and yet earlier when we were talking, I got a sense of some some heaviness or some weight that you're carrying around um, the demand on you as a BIPOC person to uh, speak out against racism, to pick up responsibility for change, to um, be a voice uh, for that um, community, maybe feeling a bit like um, the demand is to represent. Providing transparency, overviewing. So I just wondered if there are um, further feelings that you want to explore around that. Probing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, heaviness is, is a fitting word. Um, yeah, sometimes I do feel heavy. Uh, and I also am mindful and cognizant to say that I, as a Chinese Canadian woman with, you know, born in Vietnam with Vietnamese roots, and, you know, I don't represent you know, all Chinese people are all Vietnamese people are all immigrants or refugees, right? So I, 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 again, I believe representation is important. And also, um, it's not just all me, right? When, when, the, when racialized or, you know, people of color, well, I'll talk about myself when I feel that um, I have this responsibility and the obligation to, to, to speak up and to represent is a, it's a big responsibility, right? It's a big job. And sometimes that the heaviness becomes, am I, did I say the right thing on my podcast? You know, uh, did I ask good questions of my guests? Um, how are my guests feeling? You know, when they are responding to these sometimes uncomfortable and, and difficult questions, right? So um, yeah, so heaviness fits, Sandra. So the word that came into my mind as you were talking was the was self self doubt reflecting feeling but that doesn't seem to actually fit for me does it fit for you checking perceptions mm, maybe less self doubt and more sometimes i sometimes i wonder Am I doing enough? And if I'm not doing enough, what more can I do? If I choose to do more, what's my life gonna be like in terms of balance, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes it's conflicting, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's more of an emotional kind of push pull. Reflecting, feeling. Mm -hmm. Taking care of yourself, feeling the intense need that's out there and then sort of feeling in this position of a push pull reflecting feeling does that fit better checking perceptions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and beyond my professional life as i mentioned i'm also a mom right i'm also a mother and i also am cognizant that ch my children are growing so quickly right they are teenagers now and they're going to be young adults soon so i also um the heaviness when we talk about heaviness is Sometimes I question, am I spending enough time with them, right? Um, and then when I do have time, I need to invite their want to spend time with me. So that relationship I have with my children are so important. Mm -hmm. So and that that could be heavy, but I, I also think that, you know, having being a mom is so rewarding. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, yeah, mixed emotions for sure. Mm -hmm. I hear a little bit of fear in there, maybe a little bit of loss for some of the time you maybe don't have with your kids. Reflecting, feeling. What do you think of yeah. checking perceptions? Uh, yeah, that fear and loss, you know, those are those fit well because again, they are my, my, my daughter is becoming, she'll be 18 next year. My son is 14, turning 15. I mean, the transition sometimes hasn't been easy right because they are now they're no longer young they're no longer running to mommy you know all the time so I have to keep 
inviting them. I have to make sure that I'm warm and I'm open and I ask questions. We spend time together that, you know, that's our connected quality times. So, um, so I think that's where the heaviness is, is when I realize time is not, it's, it's, it's finite, right? It's limited. And I want to make sure I get, I, I do everything, you know, that's also impactful, that's, um, you know, professionally and also with my family, that's like quality time. My children also I want them to be seen and heard and to feel loved. And yeah. So if I think of a sort of feeling theme from our last conversation, this conversation, it's um, you're very self-motivated. Summarizing. Um, but with that comes this sort of sense of, responsibility and maybe the weight of responsibility for all of these pieces summarizing mm, i like that self-motivated yes i am <laughs> highly self-motivated and sometimes i i wonder when i wake up at five in the morning every day where where, where does that come from but um, i think i know where it comes from it's the drive the the socially just person in me the the, the 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 person that wants to be like a great mom and yeah I like that self motivated 